So, Prince, is yeah. it true that Root Boy of Peace Square's uh, new song is trash? Yeah, I would not. I would not say it's totally trash. Okay. But I'll say the song did not meet up to the music industry standard in 2024. Okay. Why would you say that? It needs to understand that times have changed. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you three reasons why I think Ruby's new song is not up to the standard of the music industry. Okay. Number one, arrogance. Okay. You know, you know, it's a very bad combination when you miss arrogance with ignorance. Because I watched his interview, he said that he said that nobody can ever write for him. And in his world, he said they no born the person well. And I'll be like, wait, what kind of talk is that? I didn't mean he's a Gen Z person, I said that kind of thing. I'll be like, will you get out of here? <laughs> well, you know he's been in the industry for a long time. So you would expect such from somebody like that. Actually, he needs to understand that times have changed. You okay. can't be doing the same thing from 2004 to 2024. And expect yeah. something different. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Look, okay, okay, let, let, let's, let me give you an example right now. When Chris Brown came to Nigeria, yeah. Chris Brown got Nigerians to write for him. Okay. So Chris Brown was singing Afrobeat with Yoruba and Pigeon. <laughs> now, is Rude Boy, Rude Boy bigger than Chris Brown? Maybe by age. Now, let's talk about, okay, let's talk about Rihanna. Okay. In her entire career, there is no song she's written by herself. Hmm. As I just put her as, a, as an artist, she just be there as a songwriter. Would you say Rude Boy is bigger than Chris Brown? No. So no. why must he say nobody can write for him? I think that is pride. Don't you think that's more like self-confidence? No. Self-confidence is different from pride and arrogance. Obviously. Do you understand? Okay. Self-confidence, when, self-confidence is when you tell people that I can do this thing. Yeah. I know how to do it. But not say that they did not want anybody way to do that thing for you. That's where arrogance comes in. That's where pride comes in. So if Rude Boy really wants to actually break the boundary in this, yeah. in, this, in this era, he needs to get good songwriters to write for him because what he's singing, instead of me to listen to that new song, yeah. I'd, rather listen to, I'd rather go back to P Square song in old 2004 songs, and listen. Yeah. So I know that I'm listening to old school songs, not listening to that kind of song in, released in 2024. 2024. Secondly, okay. I would say time. Right, as an artist in the music industry, you need to understand time. Yes, I will explain. You can't do something that you are doing since 2004. You need to understand that the times have changed, and from 2004 to 2024, a lot of things have changed in the industry. Definitely. Now, what people are currently doing in the industry right now is reminiscing, yeah, bringing old sound back to life. That is what people are doing in the industry right now. That is the changes. You understand? It would have even be better that he made a remix of his old songs okay. from Peace Square than doing a song that is signed like the old song. Okay. So what's the problem you have with this particularly? What, what's the problem? Is it the lyrics or the whole beat? Or what, what's the problem you have with this song in particular? Everything is wrong with the song. Oh, Lord. The lyrics. Okay. The style. Okay. Everything. Because he actually produces, he produces himself oh. a, a lot of times. Yeah. You understand? The lyrics... Well, I'll, let me not say the lyrics, the lyrics is totally bad. Okay. Yeah, but the composition, hmm. right? And that is not actually Afrobeat. You understand? There's some it sounded who, like it to me, though. No, that, that's kind of high life mixed with Afrobeat and what they have been doing since. You know, in the early stage of Afrobeat, right? The early Afrobeat artists, they usually infuse high life to their Afrobeat. Okay. Do you understand? Mm. And that is what Rude Boy is doing. Mm. And the song that you listen to and dance to in 2004, yes. in 2014, cannot be the same sound you are dancing to. Look at the industry right oh. now. Look at Omali. Look at Rema. Look at Fireboy. Look at Ashake. Ashake tried to blend his own Afrobeat with some Fuji sound okay. and see maintaining the modern style of Afrobeat, right? The people that actually consume Peace Quest song then were the millennials. Yes. You understand? But right now, Gen Z's, they don't even care about lyrics. Just make them dance. Don't slow Gen Z's down. Give them vibe. Give them slangs. Something they can play with. You okay. understand? Okay. And except you adapt to your market in every business, you will not make sales. But I mean, the millennials are still alive. They have not perished yet. So I think his song, his current whatever right now, could appeal to a lot of millennials. Okay, let me now, let me now shock you. Okay. Right? The millennials are still existing. Yes. But do you know that right now, in this current age, the millennials are trying to adapt to Gen Z's? 
True. The millennials want to become Gen Zs. Yes, yes. So why are you giving them something that is old? Okay. Do you understand? I think that is why when him and his brother Peter came together, mm. they could not actually do anything because why? They are, look look at the two songs they released when they came together. Mm. The two songs are still sounding like old school songs. That's number one. Number two, I heard him saying that he can never use TikTok to promote his song. He said that. Yeah, that's a backward mindset. We are complaining that in the book came and it changed the Nigerian national anthem to 1960. What is different between that? You are saying that you can never use TikTok to promote your song. Then how do you want to grow? That means you are sticking to your old strategies. And you okay. can't, you can't stick to your old strategy in 2024. Because the game needs change. The game has changed and everybody has moved on. Mm. Do you understand? That is why it needs to work on so many aspects. Number three. Yes. The reason why it's not growing actually is because of selfishness and self-centeredness. Now, let's agree to the fact that it's an OG. You understand? Yes, true. He has been in the game for a very long time. You understand? At this stage, there, are, is, there is only two things you can do. Mm. Number one, resign and push your communities. Or support them by featuring them. Resign. Yes. Res I mean, he's still, he's, he's, he's still a very young guy. And he's, he's got a lot of, you know, like music flavors burning in him. Okay. So resigning is not an option. I, I don't think so. I'll give you an example, right? Olamide, yeah. at a point, it took a break to push the upcoming artists. Okay. It took a break to push Fireboy. Okay. And when, Fire, when Fireboy have hit stardom, he came back and dropped one album. Then he took a break again to push Ashake. So when I say when I say you should resign, does not mean you should totally resign. Okay. You understand? But you can leverage on the fan base of the of the new artists by featuring the upcoming that are coming to spotlight, by featuring them in your own song. So if you can mingle with the Gen Z's, feature the Gen Z artists that are coming to spotlight, yeah. it will actually mingle you with their audience. You understand? And remember, because Olamide actually come and work with Ashake, that was his first nomination in the Grammys. Okay. So that means why? That's what, that's what the video said, we write by lifting others. Yeah. You understand? When you lift others, you understand? In, by, by so doing, you will also rise. Mm -hmm. Remember, the biggest song in Whiskey Career was because it featured Thames. Mm. So if Whiskey did not feature Thames, you will not get to that level with that song. And remember, that song also was nominated in the Grammys. Yes. Do you understand? So you, will, you need to know how to look at, look at the video. The guy that's saying, oh, get you, oh, get you. The video saw that these guys are upcoming and they yeah. are good, they are talented. What did he do? He featured them. Do you understand? With that feature alone, he's still putting the video's name on the map mm. as a Gen Z artist, not millennial artist. And the video is also an OG in the game. Yes. Do you understand? So the, he, he needs to put aside his selfishness and his self-centeredness and know that this game, you can't win alone. You understand? I'm... He should humble himself. He should humble himself. It's either he leave the game or if he wants to continue being in the game, he needs to humble himself and feature this artist. I don't disagree with you. Yeah. But also, I think, in my opinion, that yeah. rude boy is not rude or arrogant. Okay. I just feel it's self-confidence. Let, 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 let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something, right? Self-confidence is believing that no one is above you. Okay. But arrogance is thinking that you are above everybody. And that is the case of rude boy. So if I will advise Root Boy, I will tell him to just, come on, work with all these jerseys, help them. You understand? Take them to lime, limelight and grow with them. By so doing, you will put your name in the industry for a very long time.